Next I'm taking the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette. This is the second one that came out and I'm going to pick up the colour Henna on my fluffy brush. This is the Zoeva 221 brush. I'm going to go ahead and tilt my head and raise my brows and start off by buffing the colour Henna into my crease. And I'm just going to go ahead and start taking that upwards. Just take your time to blend circular motions and left and right motions as well. And I'm taking it quite far up to my brow bone. A little bit more of the color henna and I'm going to further intensify that color in my crease. So I went left and right and I'm going to go ahead in circular motions. until I get a good blend. I'm just going to go ahead and further blend out and apply a little bit more colour just because I want it to be a little bit more pigmented. So left and right and in circular motions. Now, whatever is left on the brush, I'm just going to go ahead and drag that out to create that cat eye shape. Now I'm going to pick up the color Cocoa, which is this brown. Same brush, I didn't change my brush. And now I'm going to apply it in my crease, but a little bit lower than... Uh, focus, focus, focus than this main color here just so that you can actually see the blend going from a dark brown into a lighter brown and I'm doing circular motions and I'm focusing this on my outer V area and in my right in my crease. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a little bit more Okay, one more time. So that's a trick to getting a good eyeshadow um, blend and pigment to go ahead and slowly build the color and keep on picking and blending until you're happy. Okay, I think I'm pretty happy with that blend. So you can see it goes from that dark brown into that orangey brown and in, uh, into a, a fade of no color. Now I'm taking the Huda Beauty Metallic Shadow, this one here, in uh, the color Bamboo Hoops and onto a clean brush. I'm just going to go ahead and pick up some. I'm not using the brush directly just because I want a hint of sparkle. And I'm going to go ahead and place that in my inner corners and on the lid. I'm just gently patting that on. I'm not creating a distinct shape. You can see that it's creating like a splatter of gold. And that's the look I was going for. Now I'm taking a gel liner. This is the black one by Maybelline. And I'm using the same brush for it. That, that it comes with and I'm going to go ahead and just drag this along. I'm not going to be neat because I'm going to smudge this and I'm going to drag this along my lash line and create a little bit of a wing. Well, quite a bit of a wing, no, no, not a little wing. And I'm not being neat, I'm literally just dragging this and applying it. So you can make it as long as you want or as short as you want depending on the look you're going for or how you prefer it. Mine is kind of reaching the middle of that area. 
Next I'm going to apply this color black truffle. I'm taking a pencil brush. This is a Morphe, um, I can't see the name, but it's a Morphe brush. It's a pencil brush and I'm picking up the color black, 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 black truffle and I'm going to go ahead and smudge this eyeliner now. So you can see that it actually just went really, really dark. And I'm going ahead and patting it and then smudging it right there. So I'm not being neat or careful, I'm literally just smudging this. And that's it, that's how you get a smoky black liner. And then I'm going to go ahead and take off this. Voila. Now I'm taking the dark shade, the dark brown shade cocoa and just smudging that in my lower lash line. And I'm not being careful and I'm dragging that quite up. Bubbly, I'm applying that in my tear duct. Last but not least, I'm applying mascara. You don't have to apply uh, falsies if you don't want to, but I have the extensions on, so I'm not going to. But yeah, you can apply false lashes if you want, or if you want, you can just apply mascara.